Hi to Chaco. Okay. Loser break finals. Sheik versus Thorzen. 0 0. Best of three. The winner will play against Blade in the grand finals. In the best of five. Or best of four. With 1 0 advantage for Blade. It's gonna be amazing. This is gonna be amazing. I kind of secretly hope that she wins, <laughs> so we don't we don't get another human mirror, but and that for human. But I'm sure we have a lot of Thorsen fans here in chat that are just they want Thorsen to just absolutely crush Sheik and damn Blade. So we'll see. Thorsen he got green, you know he's green, fits very well in on this map. This is the green kennel. This is probably why Thorsen picked green. He has camouflage on the map already. He has an advantage. On the mini map, it's even hard to see him. Slightly hard. Not super hard. Not for like a, a trained commentator like me. I can see him. I can spot him on the man, mini map immediately. Like, if I'm looking over here, for example, I can look on the mini map and see, like, Thorzain, he's over here. Yeah, and that's where he is. One click. And immediately I got it right on the first try. You see that? And, uh, you know, Sheik is over here. Well, that's red. That's easy to see on the minimap. So, and there's an acolyte for Sheik. Green smork. Do, 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 do. There's Death Knight. Death Knight here for Sheik. Trained commentator. <laughs> we have uh, Thorzen over here now. He's going to creep this creep camp. So acolyte scouts it. He knows all that's happening here. The Death Knight. Is he coming? Is he going over here immediately, or is he too late already? There's a replenishment potion, and we have a, a little mushroom over here. If you guys are hungry, I'm pretty hungry. I could eat a mus mushroom, sure, sure. Nice replenishment potion here by uh, the Archmage. This spider crab behemoth is gone, guys. It has been killed. Death Knight is on its way. We have a mana fountain, by the way, in the center. Death Knight just walks over here. He walks past it. With a little bird as well in the foot in the air. Pew, pew, pew. An albatross, another one over here. Here comes the death knight, and there's no more peasants. There's nothing to harass. Some skeletons from a crab skeleton, which is doesn't make sense. Crabs they don't have skeletons. I mean they have exoskeletons. So are these exoskeleton warriors? Don't they shouldn't they be like stronger? Exoskeletons? Because uh, usually exoskeletons are stronger than normal skeletons, right? Anyway, this skeleton, uh, because they, they not only do they uh, have the function of holding everything in place, like normal skeletons, they also have like the function of protecting, they're like armor. So I feel like exoskeletons should have more armor. Anyway, it seems like uh, maybe maybe Blizzard will add that in the next patch. For now we see him kill this little, this little guy, this hermit crab, some, some skeletons. These are uh, hermit crab skeletons. Don't ask me how how that works, but you know that works. The Archmage is over here. His Doro Mage font. He's creeping over here with the militia. A tome of agility. Does he pick it up? No. He doesn't care about the tome. He cares about Sheik. And Sheik is creeping his creep camp. He's killing these Murlocs. He wants the glove of haste. He wants it. He wants it so bad. He summons some skeletons from the Murloc. Uh, but the Archmage is now going for the Gloves of Haste, but it was all a debate. It was a debate. The Archmage now is... Oh, he buys the staff. Yeah, no problem. Archmage buys... Uh, Oven buys staff in this matchup anyway. It's really good in this matchup. There's a Footman. Look at this. Look at this. There's a tower going up. Footmen are doing a great job. There's a Water Elemental. And, uh, of course, he's, you know, not attacking. Just making sure. These ghouls, they cannot drink the Mana Fountain because they don't have mana. I mean, I wonder what happens if a ghoul drinks from this mana fountain. Does it, like, take damage or something? Does it die? Is it too much power for the ghoul? This guy is going to die. Death Knight is pretty uh, low, by the way. The creeps are just killing the Death Knight and the ghouls. One ghoul went down, the Death Knight went down. And the Kappa! Uh, these ghouls are retreating. <laughs> and you see Thorzen sees the Death Knight there. He saw that the Death Knight was killed by the creeps. And now Thorzen will finish this creep camp. Is Water Elemental killing a Murloc? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Ball out of four. Well, um, great. Well, the Death Knight will be back soon. He was just level one, 36 seconds. 
He'll be back. Hi, Chaco. Hello, Dreadlord. <laughs> what the hell is she doing? I mean, he has a plan, guys. He has a plan for all of us. Arkmates here. Uh, so much mana. Hello. Another water elemental. Hello? No? Cool down? Okay, there it is. Third water elemental. Death Knight is back, guys. He's back. Back with uh, for vengeance. He's almost level two. Uh, Thorzane building an arcane vault. House of the Dead is going up, but look who's coming. Not the skin, hello, he might be the same color. I was talking about Dora Magefront. He doesn't have boots, but he does have the staff, he has claws, he has gloves, he has potion of greater mana. Probably will never need this. Hello, there's a mana fountain, you have an Archmage, you already have level 1 Brilliance Aura, you're almost level 4. You have level 2 Brilliance Aura. I feel like he should probably sell this, maybe. I, I will see. There goes a the ghoul. Definitely is doing a great job. These acolytes, he has so many of them. He has six of them. They were trying to form a cult, you see? Are you near the trees? That's what the uh, cults do, right? They dress up as acolytes and they go to trees where no other people are. Uh, a lot of these ghouls died. The Archmage is now level 4. Definitely is almost level 3, by the way. He got a lot of XP from this creep camp. Uh, Archmage doesn't want to die. You know, very typical of an Archmage. He stops out. There's only level 1 coil, so he should be fine. 23 hit points. He was almost not fine, by the way. If the Death Knight had slightly better attack speed, he could have attacked one more time and killed that uh, Archmage. But he didn't have that attack speed, so... The Death Knight hunting a Footman. Footman. Going over the bridge. Very smart. Very smart. Going, uh... Find maybe the macro lot of title lord. No, he dies. How is this map called? The Green Kennel. Because like this kennel, you see it's green, the water is green, and there's just a lot of green on this map. That's why it's called the Green Kennel. And Thorzen is green. There's an arcane tower here, but the Death Knight just coils and now he's out of mana. And there's a lich. Meanwhile, over here, we have an Archmage and a bunch of footmen. They're just gonna do so much damage here. He cancels his attack to Black Citadel. Some of these acolytes are going to die. She get 21 supply. Thorzen and Knight 41 supply. Is this just gonna end it? It's just gonna end it right here. I think so. But two Spear Toros are going up. So maybe he can um, delay the inevitable. Wow, Chaco. That sounded like a professional, what a professional commentator would say. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe he can delay the inevitable for uh, a few more seconds or minutes. And uh, not lose the game just yet. Footman and Water Elementals going for these acolytes. Me over here. The Death Knight kills a peasant. Hello, be the GG peasant. Lich kills a peasant. Another peasant dies. Archmage kills some ghouls. Two ghouls are dead. Archmage is healing even. You know, why not? Slaughterhouse is coming up. What a game, guys. These ghouls also pretty dead. But plenty of lumber here for, uh, for Sheik. Meanwhile, over here, units are dying. What a great game. What a great game. Shaco the professional caster. <laughs> Inevitable. Professional commentator. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you guys finally noticed how professional I am. Hello. Archmage buys healing potion. And surrounds the death knight. Sure, why not? Meow. <laughs> Uh, I'll read it after this game. This game will end in a moment, right? If you don't mind. The Death Knight TPs out at 7 hit points or 6 hit points. Uh, can the footman kill the Death Knight? Hello? <laughs> oh, does he get it? No, he doesn't. So close. If the Water Elemental got an attack in, he would have been uh, dead. GG. GG. Ecolite hiding behind the tree. Look, if you, if you have your camera over here and hit Alt, you don't even see him. Oh, no, okay, okay, he's just looking, he's just looking behind the tree. Chaka number one, hey, Death Note. Oh, the Acolyte takes some damage here from the Rogue. And now going, uh, you know, he's taking some damage from the other guys. Oh, look at that, zero XP on the Archmage. He died to the Creeps, the Acolyte died to the Creeps. We have a Lannister here for uh, Mr. Thorzane. He's getting some more footman, and here comes the Death Knight. He's on his way. 
The footman over here, what is he planning to do? Kind of a fish, froggy. Kinda. Okay, can I get a peasant? He tries to get his peasant. He, the first coil comes with a discount, so you know, even if he doesn't get it, it's uh, not like it was a mistake. The skeleton, uh, can he get it though? I think if he set it in the skeleton immediately, instead of just having it get killed by the Archmage in the water metal, maybe he could have gotten it. He's now going with this skeleton. Does he get a kill? No! He, the skeleton dies, and the Acolyte uh, peasant survives with four hit points. Over here, meanwhile, Footman just takes some damage from the ghouls. Nice play. Does he get a fiend at all? Do we see a fiend? There is a fiend. Indeed, there's a fiend. Chaco, today is my birthday. Happy birthday, Mike. Everyone in the chat, wish Mike a happy birthday. If you want. You know, if you want. If you like Mike. There's a death knight. He's coming back. He's level 1. He has no XP. Zero XP. Phil's birthday, man. Happy birthday. Let's not free. This, this footman takes some damage. Uh, did, can he get this footman? It's Phil birthday, man. Is that an emote? Like a BTTV emote? There, oh, the footman dies. This footman does his retreat. Can he get the kill, though? Still zero XP on the death knight. Hello. <laughs> zero XP is not really a lot of uh, XPs. It's very little amount of XP. There's no expansion yet. So the expansion is super... Oh, wait a second. There's no expansion because he's tacking. I was about to say, his expansion is super duper late. No. Thorgen doesn't play expansion. Hello, Chaco. Water Elemental doing his best. Uh, maybe the ghouls just want to take out the Water Elemental. Okay, never mind. Could have gotten XP there. He could have finally gotten some XP, but he likes his zero XP. It's like when I make it... Uh, you know, when I was still playing on Battle.net often, I liked like the peon icon, like the peon uh, yeah, icon. So I purposely wouldn't get 25 wins with any race, because then you lose the icon. And you cannot choose a peon anymore. So this is the same thing with the Death Knight here. He doesn't want any XP, because then he loses the zero, the zero XP, the empty bar. He just thinks it looks beautiful, I guess. You see with Lannister, you see a little bit of purple. That doesn't look like beautiful, right? Looks like a bit messy. A bit messy. Definitely, just completely black. Beautiful. There's two fiends now. He is uh, he's going to Black Citadel. Oh, he gets 40 XP. 46, of course, because he's at tier 2 and he is solo hero. 15% bonus XP. 15% of 40 is 6, so 40 plus 6 is 46. That's why he got 46. He also gets uh, Water Elemental, so he's now at 140. Did he get more than water elemental? He was a level 1 water elemental. Hello, Chaco. He got something else as well. Anyway, the Death Knight did get bashed here by this uh, Tunneler. He's pretty low on hit points. 262. Whose birthday? It's Mike's birthday. Chaco, when you register for BTTV, you can add emotes to your chat for people to use. We use BTTV. Okay, interesting. So you're telling me I should probably do that, right? Zero XP lol. Beautiful park champ. Describe the first game, please. What do you mean? Oh, you mean last game? Last game? Uh, last game. Sheik just lost his death knight to creeps, and then he uh, spiraled out from there. You know. Thorstein just played pretty aggressively after that and just won the game. It's a pretty one-sided game. I don't know. That's, that was a beautiful description. I feel like that was exactly it. I nailed it. I nailed that description. Death Knight picks up a tome. Uh, he got the, the Boots of Quality Lost from over there. Not that great of an uh, item, though. Not that great. Does he sell it? Does he keep it? He keeps it for now. Chaco with those math skills. Quick math. Nice uh, uh, lightning shield on the fiend. 
Uh, damn, I didn't know that. So if he's tier 3, he will get even more XP? Yes. Yeah. But only if you have a solo hero. Maybe uh, for Dark Ranger later? Yeah, maybe. Do we see Dark Ranger? Maybe we'll see Dark Ranger. Oh, is this a tier 2 expo? Do we see a tier 2 expo for uh, Thorzane? Yes! And I'm a big fan of this. Hello, Pegasus. Maybe you guys could help. Maybe help your friend. Hello. Oh, you see? I just moved them. I just gave them those commands. Mountain King creeping over here. I'm helping Thorzane out a little bit. Don't tell the admins. Uh, this Death Knight is level 2. You know, this nice. Lich is level 1. Yeah, and we do get a Crypt Lord. Okay, so no Dark Ranger. No, he just gives a boost to the Lich to attack a bit faster. What the game, guys. Dark Ranger is a agility hero. You're correct. Mount King level 3. Archimedes level 3. So this uh, tier 2 expansion, we've seen Sock do it a few times. I think uh, even Chamiko, I've seen Chamiko do it a few times. I think it is a pretty strong strategy. It's better than like the rifle timing attack. If we're talking about one base uh, plays. Nice impill on the Mountain King. Two footmen. The Stormbolt hits the uh, Acolyte. He's dead. The skeleton goes down. This rifleman in the back. There goes the skeleton. This oh impill hits like three riflemen, two footmen, and the Mountain King. This rifleman all the way in the back. He's shooting. Look at this fight here. The Mountain King going for this ghoul now. Uh, the Acolytes, what are they doing? TP out here by the Archmage because he's done enough. Oh no, TP in by Sheik. That's why he TP'd out. What a game, guys. Oh, is he stuck? Stuck behind the farm. Arcane Tower going up. Of course, uh, Thorzen just buying time for his expansion at this point. Arash the Summoner, Nephethos, and Baron Morde. Morde. Here we have the Lannister, and we have a Stonebreaker. Poor Stonebreaker. Nice illusions, though. Are they gonna scout? Yeah, they're gonna scout. She misclicked the info potion. Oh, I didn't see that. Players forces are under attack. Players forces are under attack. Archmage and the Mountain King. Mountain King buys a nice uh, healing scroll. He has the info potion as well. He has a TP. And here comes the attack. Is he going to defend or is he going for uh, for an attack? He's so far away from the dead base, so he has to defend. And let's see how he uh, how well he defends here. The statue takes a no that much damage. Nice Nova on these units. They are also clumped up. One priest dies. This priest is next. He also is almost dead. No, he dies. Okay, this fiend also is dead. The rifleman died to Nova, but Nova no splash damage. Abomination shows up. Nice uh, impel three uh, rifleman. This statue running for his life. Or floating for his life because he's a floater and uh, he survives. Yeah, but statue survives, but this fiend is not gonna survive. He gets eaten by the lich, even. And uh, that's fine, that's fine. The lich was just hungry. The lich is killing uh, a rifleman over here. The rifleman does retreat. Does he uh, survive? Yeah, 12 hit points. This statue does not survive. But oh, then the rifleman goes down. The abomination is now working on peasants. And the mountain king is stealing some mana from someone. He's going for the lich. The lich takes a coil. The mountain king has plenty of stormbolts. Hello. Three more Stormwells available. And he throws one on the Lich. There's only one Koyo available. He has a Mana Potion though, so he has more. But, uh, you know, it's a beautiful game. With three heroes just buying time for the Abomination to kill the Peasants. The Crypt Lord got Stormbolt, but he survives. He doesn't even get surrounded. Easy peasy. He has the armor now as well. Six armor. Hello. Uh, he gets Stormbolt, but he got coiled before. And the Death Knight already uses Mana Potion. The Clipper is in trouble though. Can he kill the Mountain King before he loses the Clipper? The Mountain King has no more Stormbolts, but soon he will have one. Oh, and Clipper gets out. Meanwhile, there's Abomination still killing peasants. The peasants are sick, but the good thing there's no raccoons, no bunnies in the neighborhood. Uh, so, you know, Mountain King died. You know, it wasn't that important. I was uh, I'm more concerned about Abomination killing these priests. This priest is dead. He's going for this rifleman now. Clipper comes back. Archmage, can he, uh, you know, can he kill him? Uh, he buys the Mountain King back. The Mountain King gets Novat. There's also, uh, soon there's mana for another coil. Or soonish. 
If you can do another spirit torch. Hello? Who's that? Yeah, I think he just did one. Okay, 77 mana. Doesn't want to use an... Uh, he uses a heal scroll. The Archmage over there. At least Abomination has been killed. There's two peasants, only on gold. Maybe he wants more on gold. Hello. Thursday, you have plenty of lumber, not enough gold. The Archmage is probably going to die, but that's fine. Uh, it's not fine, but I'm just saying that's uh, nothing he can do about it. GG, WP. And that it means we have a 1 1 here between Sheik and Thorzane. We have an Archmage here, Archmage here for Thorzane. What do we have here for Sheik? Sheik is going for a Death Knight. Death Knight against Archmage. Exciting, exciting. So much excite. So much excite. Do we see an uh, expansion, tier 1 expansion, tier 2 expansion? Maybe this game he go, he's going for tier 3 expansion. Makes sense, right? First game, he went for tier 1 expansion. Second game, he went for tier three, uh, tier 2 expansion. Third game? I see a pattern. And the pattern sh should be concluded with a tier 3 expansion. Footman walking through the water. He sees the acolyte. Does he attack it? Yeah, he attacks it. So last game he got no XP for the scudding acolyte. Let's see what happens this game. Is he even gonna kill it? He attacks it. Does he get the XP? Does it die? Does he kill it? Does it go down? The Archmage might kill it. No, three hit points. Acolyte, no uh, peasant. No, Archmage. Yes, he gets the XP this game. 25 XP for a 10 flame caster. What a nice amount of XP. But the, the Acolyte bought so much time. Maybe the Death Knight can be a time to kill the Overseer. He's running on his horsey, riding on his horsey so fast. But is he going to be in time? He's not going to be in time. <laughs> and the Gloves of Haste picked up by the Archmage. The Manual of Health picked up by no one. The Death Knight kills one peasant. That's nice. And can, maybe he can get some more peasants. He's using his skeletons to the max. This peasant in the back. Can he get a kill? He gets a kill. To that peasants already 50 xp on the death knight it's already so much more than he had last game last game remember he was at zero xp until forever but he still won the game in the end so pretty good yeah pretty good death knight gets hit a bit more <laughs> what is this he's just baiting the archmage away from his base archmage doesn't need oh he's stacking again okay Players' forces are under attack. Well, the footman is creeping some gnolls. Archmage is going for these gnolls. Footman do a great job killing this gnoll. There's now a nice menu of health on the floor. This footman, he, uh, I'm not sure if he saw Death Knight. I guess he didn't. Archmage over here killing some murlocs, uh, some gnolls over here. Picks up the tome. So nice. Definitely some, some skeletons, but the skeletons are greeted by some footmen. Can he go for the peasants? Arcane towers are going up. This skeleton going for uh, oh a coil on the peasant. The skeletons going down. Oh wait, he saves the peasant with the tower, blocking off the skeletons, and he just continues working even, even though he's surrounded. Even though he's stuck, he just continues working no matter what. This uh, peasant also survives. The Death Knight, he has no more mana, but the skeletons, maybe can they can kill someone. This peasant is no more stuck. He doesn't care anyway. He just continues building. Look at this footman defending. Actually, there's a gap there. Ooh, with the peasant blocking with the farm. Nice, nice block. He has a militia over there, a footman over there. And here come the skeletons, though. They walked around. Oh, can he get a kill? He got one kill. Can he get another kill? No! These skeletons are blocked out with all these uh, towers and farms over here blocking. Nice play by Thorzane. Really nice play. Try doing his best to not lose any peasants here. And he didn't, you know. I mean, he did lose a few, but he didn't lose that many. Three peasants so far. Archmage is killing some Murdoch. Car. Hey, hello, Death Knight. Right thing in Death Knight sounds good. Uh, block with the water elemental. No. Coil on this water elemental. That's uh, no, he was he missed it. Hello, the Murlocs got the kill. Hello, he still only has the XP of the three peasants. And uh, Archmage, he's level three. Hello, there's five footmen or six or five, five here, and then there's one here. So that's six. 
in total. And there's a blacksmith and there's a mount king. Thorzen gonna creep this creep down over here, but here's the death knight with this uh, 75 XP kappa. Gets hit by the archmage. What happened to Mr. Sheep? Archmage has close face, so he attacks very fast. Uh, looks like the lich got the kill there. The archmage, of course, picks up the item, the one of mana stealing, but he might have to TP here. Uh, no, he might not have to because the lich is just too far back. But the lich is killing some footman with the Nova. Hello. There is uh, two dead footmen. Does he get more footmen? No, he doesn't get more. His footman is running for his life. Uh, and he's dead. Death Knight is level 2. This fiend takes a bit of damage. He's going for this footman. This footman is... Oh, he's the Archmage just steals some mana from the Death Knight. Oh. Death Knight kills the footman. And what do we have here? Mount King. Do we see a Death Knight kill? No, he's going for a fiend. Would also be nice to get a fiend kill for Sheik, of course. Not for Sheik, for uh, oh, Thorzane. But he denies it. Did he deny it? No, he didn't deny it. He tried to, to deny it, but he didn't. Taco flavored kisses. Just wait a second, power on you because these heroes are uh, about to die. Uh, oh, he denies it and then he touches. Okay, denied the Lich and uh, does the Stormbolt. Okay, thanks, Pawanyu, for the subscription six months in a row. Give me that sweet, sweet Venom Orb. Congratulations with the Venom Orb. And thanks for the beautiful support. Welcome back to Chaco Bell. I'll give you some taco flavored kisses as well, Pawanyu. Because that's what you deserve. On top of the Venom Orb. There. Archimedes creeping here. Thorzane is creeping here. Orb of Venom is so strong. Over here we have an Orb of Corruption. Yeah, Orb of Corruption. That's the next one, you Orb of Corruption. Just a ha half a year. Another half a year. Death Knight, he was level 3, but you know, he's not gonna hit level 3 anytime soon. The Lich is level 2, Ring of Protection. Okay, okay, okay. What do we get here? Slaughterhouse, Double Slaughterhouse, Mass Destroyers. We don't have an expansion here. We have Tier 3 Thorzane. It's almost like he, uh, like my prediction was right. Do we see a Tier 3 expansion? Well, at least at, at the first game he won a Tier 1. Second game he lost a tier 2, now he's gonna win or lose a tier 3. So I was already pretty close, this Archmage is down with so much intelligence, he does so much damage with the Gloves of Haste as well. Please just go for an expansion, just to make my protection seem like it was brilliant. He's gone for all these flag cannons on these flying machines, pretty good, pretty good. Okamaja is dead. Oh. This forest trapper is dead. There's a paladin, finally. Oh. A player's forces are under How many flying machines do we have? Four? Is it uh, five? Five? Okay, five. Just five. How many statues do we have? Three so far, only three. Maybe he just doesn't get destroyers. He just masses statues and he just uh, shoots the flying machines out of the air with the, with the statues that do magic damage, of course. They do so much damage. They can shoot down the flying machines pretty fast. What a range, by the way. 575. Interesting range attack range. Pretty interesting. Don't think there's a single other unit with this amount of range. Eat some uh, statue mana. Nom, 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 nom. Three destroyers. Is that enough? Against seven flying machines. Oh, Mr. Nighty goes down. Is nine flying machines now. I mean, with mana, it's probably enough. There's no, uh, no Mr. Panda. The footman almost, almost uh, died. Man of Elf. Oh, two more flying machines over there. One is already dead. They came from the front. 
And the other one also uh, is dead. Holy light on the footman, but he dies anyway. The paladin in a bit of trouble. Another coil on the paladin. He's running pretty fast, even though he's carrying a heavy hammer. Hello. I wouldn't be running this fast if I was carrying that hammer. <laughs> Through the water as well, right? Don't under underestimate this paladin. He does die. I mean, that was to be expected. I think he did a great job running. Mount King, he's, he has boots, of course, so it's a different story. How many flying machines do we have? 12. He's building more. 12 flying machines. No, that's it. He's getting a paladin back. A player's forces are under attack. The player's forces are under attack. Countermass gyro by not making destroyers. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah. It's a good plan. This, uh,. Knight takes a bit of damage. Okay, here comes Sheik. Paladin is back. This tower is taking a lot of damage, guys. This peasant now is is he next? Roar! Here comes the flying machine. So many and they're split out even evenly. Well, let's see. 40, 50 supply gets 49. The destroyers are 1 and 0. The flying machines are 0 and 0. I'm not sure why he didn't go for a panda. Even level 1 panda is better than destroyer, right? This is no chance for destroyers. There's too many flying machines. Hello. The destroyers are just falling. The flying machines are just not falling. All the destroyers are dead. And we have even militia here on the floor. Just helping out this fight. This, uh... This fiend is dead. Stormbolt on the death knight. He's still alive. The knight, uh, the lich ate something. She retreats. I'm not sure if he killed anything. Maybe like one or two flying machines. And that's it. Because Thorstein is still at 49 supply. Hello. He's getting a knight. I guess a uh, knight died. But there was fortified, right? Just death knight in a bit of trouble. Can he uh, stormbolt? Or he's going for the lich. He's going for the lich. No mana for stormbolt though. He's using clarity on the paladin. Maybe you want to cancel that sheik. Maybe with a statue or something. You know, it's fine. But uh, the Def the Mountain King, he needs he's the one that needs the mana. But he doesn't get the mana. Arkham is full mana. Only the Mountain King doesn't have mana. This destroyer turns into destroyer. So flying machines show up and they die. But uh, the other ones are still over here, you know? So they show up as well. They're like, oh, is there a party? Players it's going for Dark Ranger, so I think, you know. Well, I don't know what to think. This Death Knight here, is he going to die? Holy Light, no, he has the healing potion. Another uh, destroyer went down. Oh, he has bomb attack. Paladin Chan also goes down, but the bombs doing so much damage against the statue. The statue goes down. Can he win with his heroes again? Sheik just needs to win with heroes only. And, uh. Yeah, he's one fiend. Oh, and two abominations. But this fiend is, uh. takes a coil. But it still dies. The Archmage. TPing out, okay. There's a fiend, there's a statue. Some knights. Nice game. 43 supply is 48. If if she just never builds air units again. Then this 12 supply of flying machines, or how much it is, uh, 10 supply, is not completely useless, but it's not as strong. He still has the bombs, and he's going for, what's he going for? He's going for this Nerubian tower. Let's see if we can kill it. Meanwhile, the other player, other guys are creeping, of course. We see, uh, we see Thorzen creeping over here. We see she creeping over here. But these flying machines, okay, they don't get that first Nerubian tower. Going for this one. They came for oh, it's look at these statues defending with their magic damage. They killed these guys so fast. A fiend as well. Okay, what did we get here? Did we get it already? A belt of giant strength. Ah, uh, not super nice, but it's all right against the nuke, I guess, against the stormbolt, the holy light. And here we have an holy aura. I don't even need to click this mountain king. You can see this aura from like miles away. For you, some of you guys, you can see it uh, from like the other side of the planet. Even that's how visible it is. There it is, Unholy Aura, Legion Doomhorn. Now 
Nice. Stormbolt. On the fiend. The fiend is dead. <laughs> Flying machines. Go for the lich. Can they kill the lich? They uh, they do like three damage a shot or so. This death knight is doing just beautiful. He was almost surrounded, but not quite. He's going for the lich now. Stormbolt on the lich. Scoil on the lich, but there's more. There's more. There's a nova on the peasant. The lich is kind of surrounded. This lich is in trouble, guys. This lich, can he save the lich? Where's the death knight? There's the death knight. He has the info potion, but uh, yeah, the lich is dead, guys. He was about to throw a coil, but the lich side. So no coil wasted at least. She gets to retreat, get the lich back. Are under well, there's still no expansion for Thursday, so she still has a pretty good chance to win this game. He just needs to uh, stop losing liches. Nice silence. Whoa! Feet is dead, okay. Okay. She gets 43, Thursday at 56. Thorzen definitely has the advantage, but Sheik has the orb of corruption. Stormbolt on the Death Knight. Uh, he has an info potion, he will have to use it. Uh, flying machines killing a destroyer. There's one more destroyer to kill. Just kill it and then uh, Then you're probably gonna win the game. Yeah. Thorzen is gonna win the game with one base, guys. This is how good Thorzen is. Just beating Sheik with one base. Are you kidding me? Kills the destroyer. Paladin is level three. Okay, well, he's a abomination. Pretty tasty, of course. The list is now almost full mana. Stormbolt. Stormbolt on the Death Knight. Can he kill the Death Knight with the Knights and the Mountain King? Maybe with a block or a bash? Uh, this Knight. Beautifully placed. Archmage takes some nuke. She dies, but so does the Death Knight. And now we have more mana for more storm bolts. But he gets silenced. Can a Paladin block someone? Like a Dark Ranger. He can block the Skeleton and go for the Skeleton. Oh, I didn't realize there was still an Abomination there. Um, oh yeah, okay. He's dead. Okay. Rawr, rawr. Players' forces are under attack. The lich eats a skeleton. Archmage is back. How much gold is left? 1.5k. Okay. Okay. Oh, Stormbolt. But is that enough? Where's the holy light guy? Paladin, where are you? He's all the way over there. Doesn't have the boots like the Mountain King has. And uh, aura like the Mountain King has. Hello. Let's go for the statue. Uh, altar, I mean. I mean, there's a statue on the altar. Can you, see, you see this? I was wrong. There's a statue. The knights are 1 0. They can do quite a lot of damage to the altar. The, the flying machines help out as well. They do siege damage, of course. We have a uh, spirit tower here. Maybe she can do something. Maybe something beautiful. Maybe something we've never seen before. Maybe just holds and wins uh, without a death knight. But. It's going to be difficult. They came from behind. Holy light on the night. The night is one and zero. These knights are they're sick, guys. We have four sick knights. Let's go for the uh, crypt. No, holy light on the night. Stormbolt on the fiend. The fiend is he dead? Fiend gets eaten by the lich. Very nice. Does he rebuild the altar? Yes. Rebuilds the altar in the back. Uh, even more some destroyers. Oh, if there's no enough flying machines anymore. Because he, uh, he killed most of the flying machines. <sighs> Still enough, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think he might have rebuilt some of the flying machines. Uh, but we have three destroyers now. This expansion finally going up. A tier 3 expansion. My prediction was completely right. Wow, Chaco. Such a professional commentator. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. How do you know exactly what these players are going to do? Well, if you have as much experience as me, you can just read the flow. The flow of the game. 
What item do we get here? Uh, Close of deck plus 12, okay. Maybe give it to the Archmage. Yeah, he gives it to the Archmage and also drop the Magi so the Archmage now does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Plus 18. A lot of flying machines. We have 9 here. 10, 11 in total. And they're using the bomb attack on the Shrapper. Level 5 Archmage now. Paladin picks up the tome. These heroes are just level 4. What a game, guys. And the troll is dead. Expansion is up. It's gonna be uh, pretty difficult for Sheik to come back here. He has to wait for his death knight. Which is still gonna take about... 50 seconds? No, wait, what? Let's see, 110... Yeah, about four, 40 seconds or so. We have a level 4 Lich. We have a level 2 Dark Ranger. There's some Murlocs left on the map here to creep. Death Knight is only 50% done. Lol. The flying machines are 0-0. Zero, zero. These destroyers are 1-0. Hey, one destroyer his mana. Was he afraid that the flying machines would just show up? Just uh, flying right now and kills destroyers? I think so. That's why he drank some mana. Or did I misclick? Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll take it back. They don't have mana. Destroyers have no mana. There's a death knight. What a beautiful game, guys. Skeleton standing over there. Okay, now we drink some mana. Now they have mana. Does he see the flying machines? He could just win here. I mean, the flying machines are not gonna fight, they're gonna fly away. But if he gets a few attacks in, it would be nice. So many destroyers. She got 58 supply, guys. This is the last push for Sheik. And he's just gonna tell you guys hey, this game's not over yet. Hello. I can still win. Look how many destroyers I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A lot of them with mana. These flying machines. I wonder if he, he shouldn't fight here. Let these peasants die. Just wait it out. Wait uh, until the destroyers don't have mana anymore. You have more peasants here. And it seems that this is what he's doing. Yeah, very smart player by Thorzain. Destroyers, of course. The mana will go down. Destroyers lose mana over time. Destroyers are 2 0 now. The flying machines are 1 and 0. I'm getting kind of really, really hungry. A player's forces are under attack. And now the destroyers are hunting. They're hunting the flying machines, they're hunting knights. Oh, and they find the flying machines. They came from behind. One destroyer is dead. We have uh, another destroyer dead. We're now down to five destroyers, four destroyers, three destroyers. The destroyers, they get demolished. Meanwhile, the Lich also dies. Kappa. GG. Thorzhan wins, and Thorzhan goes to the grand finals, guys.